Hello YouTube and welcome to yet another general vlog video. Today I have something very exciting to show you guys. Some of you may have seen these and some of you may have not. But it's one thing that living close to one I kind of overlook all the time. But, and no I wasn't talking about that boat <laughs> or all the birds in the field. But look at what we see in front of us on the road. You'll see it as we get closer and closer to it. Now I understand some of you have never seen one of these. This is the cover photo on my channel. And if you go back and look, uh, there's one called Bickham Bridge. It's all about this, if you go back and look at some of my old videos. But I know a lot of you have never gotten to see one of these or ever driven through one. Now it is tradition that you always have to honk your horn for a loved one in heaven. So I honked my horn. Oh, look at all the little pumpkins. Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys seen those or not, and I don't want to take my thing off of here. I have to drive safely. So... I don't take my hands off the wheels, so I can't take my chest mount off or any type of a mount system that I may have. All right, so there it is. Let's get out. Let's look around. What do you think? Think we should? I do. Oh, let's turn this loud truck off. Oh, look how much better it gets. We get out past them dirty windshields. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but on every one of them little fence posts up there, there's a little baby pumpkin. That is so cute. And on both sides, by the way. Might have been some kind of, oh, even on the other side I see it. Historical Society or something have done that. Now, believe it or not, this is a little, uh, well, if you guys watch my island videos, at the end, we're parked on the other side of Moundwood, and I show you the Great Miami River. This is more part of the Great Miami River. Why they call it a river, I don't know. It's more of a creek. A creek. I'm not sure what you guys call it from where you're at, but that's what we call it, a creek. But some people call it a creek. But I can see the bottom. It's probably not but about a foot deep down there. And you can see some animal prints and some human prints. Probably see it better once we get up here where it dries. But look at this. If you've ever wondered what the bottom side of a covered bridge looks like, this is what it looks like, people. Is this not awesome? Look at the beautiful rock work. Uh, now, they did redo this bridge. And I think there's a sign up there that tells all about that. I don't know how well I'll be able to get, get you into that or not. But... We'll find out. I just wanted to show you. Now you can say, I've actually seen up underneath a covered bridge. And I now know what it looks like. And there it is. Doesn't span very far. I'm not going to try to take a guess at how far it spans, but it's not huge. I doubt you guys can see it, but in the water I'm seeing a bunch of little minnows and stuff. So let's get back up here. Oh, I just heard a car go across. Did you hear that? So this is it. You can walk down there. And even though the, the water is really shallow, it is pretty dis decent fishing down here. Especially when the white bass run. Uh, this seems to be everybody's favorite location to fish for white bass. But let's see. I don't know if I can zoom in on it good enough or if I can actually get up here where I can actually read it. But let's see if I can zoom in on it. And maybe you guys can read it on your own if I can hold the camera still. Okay, so now let me zoom back out on it and I will try to read it. Uh, it says, Bickham Covered Bridge, 1877 is when it was first built. Miami Valley Pike. Spans 95 foot Smith Bridge Company. I wouldn't think as 98 foot or 95 foot or however. I wouldn't think so, but I guess it could be 
uh, type. It's, uh, it looks like it says Home Trust. It doesn't really say when it was restored. I was hoping it would say when it was restored. But now you guys can officially say you've been through and across a covered bridge. Let's go on this side and just... It's all got woods on that side over there. Them little pumpkins are very cute. I would say there's some kind of like historical, National Historical Bridge Company or something that's done that. And kudos for that. I think that's very cute. So now we're going to go back through it. Are you guys ready? Are you as excited as I am? Well, come on, make some noise, people. All right, so here we go. If I don't get stuck in these great big mud puddles that are over here. Let me get back up here and get you guys all situated where you guys go. There we go. And see that old building down there? That is an old original schoolhouse. You guys want to go past it? Let's. Let's go past it. Let's go past it. We can still go through the bridge, I promise. But let's go check out this old school building. Somebody's converted it into a house, and lucky them. I just couldn't imagine how awesome that would be to live in that something that historical. Look how beautiful that old... It was in a one-room schoolhouse, and somebody converted it into a house. And they got a nice little setup there. So now we'll go down here and we'll turn around. And I might as well just bring you guys along. I mean, I could pause it. You guys have seen people turn around before. But down here, I kind of like to know what they're doing. They're clearing out a lot down in there. I bet there's going to be some type of a condo association or something going to be built there. They'll ruin it somehow. Okay. Not that I'm against, you know, change and, and all that good stuff. But, you know, we, we're running out of countryside here, people. Oh, I love that old building. Look at the backside of it. It just, that's all an original one-room schoolhouse. And they've converted it very nicely into a home. I would love to find something like that. You know, out in the country like this where I can have animals and have a little bit of land. All right, so here we go. We're going to do it. We're going to go, and I see no cars coming either way. So I'm going to get up here, and I'm going to stop now that I can actually read that. Yes, it does say span 98 foot. It was built by Smith Bridge Company from Toledo, Ohio. Type how trusses, not home trusses like I said before. How trusses. Cost $2,335 to originally build. That was a lot of money in 1877, people. That was a whole lot of money. Oh, and it does say, rehabbed in 2002, the Ryder Company out of Columbus, Ohio. Cost $475,334.57. Yeah. I think they might have got ripped off on that. And I have a car behind me, people. I am so sorry. And once again, beep for a honk your horn for a loved one. And I did. I let that car sneak up behind them. I hope they didn't get too upset. All right, we'll get up here and I'll end this video. I'm so glad you guys come along with me. This is not but just a couple miles from my house. And I know there's a lot of people that have never seen a covered bridge or ever been through a covered bridge. So I'm going to pull over here in this little parking lot. And we're going to look at the tail end of this boat with no motor. Brand new. And I'm going to end my video. Thank you guys for coming along with me on these little journeys. I just really want to share with you the area that I live in. It's a beautiful area. It is uh, just amazing 
Now it's more of a tourist area, but it is an amazing place to live. I'm so thankful to have grown up here and to still be living here and to be raising my children here. So many wonders that we kind of overlook now because we see them every day and I've seen them every day since I was a little kid. And I am so happy to be able to share that with you guys. So anyways, once again, it's a general vlog video. Please like and please subscribe and comment down below. And once you subscribe, smash that bell icon and click all. That way you'll be notified every time we post a video. And hey, sometimes I don't remember to remind you guys, but share us on your social media, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, anywhere that you have social media, please share us. It really helps our channel out a lot. And we'll see you guys on the next video. I hope you have a great day, an awesome tomorrow. And it, nope, I said it wrong again, didn't I? Jeez, you would think as many, I know I've done this at least 240 times. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And we will see you on the next video. Stay tuned.